Hi. That's how I begin every vlog, clearing my throat. Let me clear my throat. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Jean Forte, drop the microphone and walk this way. What's that? What I have out the hop, what I have out the hop, what I have out the hop, getting down with it. Na 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 na. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've vlogged, because uh, I was going to stop vlogging. Because viewership was dropping. I feel like <laughs> which when you start with like a hundred viewers, you can't afford to lose any. And um, I just feel like nobody watches vlogs. It just wasn't a good format. And so um, I've been planning a, uh, a podcast, and I've recorded two epi ep episodes. Episodes? Episodes. It's episodes. Ah, what's the matter? And so, um, but um, I don't know how to, how to how to pod. I record the episodes, but I got to figure out how to... Um, put them online and set up the, the, the structure for um, uh, distribution and so the podcast is 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 uh, pretty good it's a, a little similar to this where it's just me talking and uh, but the the concept is I walk around different places <clears throat> and it's called evening constitutional daily constitutional evening constitutional one of those I originally called it the ramble but I got rid of that because the word ramble has negative connotations. Nobody's ever like, you're rambling. Keep going. So it's either going to be daily or evening constitutional. And uh, and uh, it's just I walk around a different location or drive or whatever. And I describe to you what I'm seeing. And and then um, and then I, I talk about the uh, what I'm seeing and the location and stuff. <clears throat> and then random thoughts that pop into my head. Uh, or they're not random, they're related to the things that I'm seeing. So that, that's the podcast. And I chose that format be for two reasons. One, it will get me out of the house. It will force me to go visit new places and experience new things. Because I'm like, well, I'm doing it for my podcast. And then two, it's all improvisational. And what I really liked about these vlogs is that I am improvising. I'm just kind of riffing and talking to you. And that's good for me on stage. It, has help, it helps me um, riff more on stage and also kind of understand <clears throat> how to improvise a story, how to talk in the, in the moment. Um, that's the idea anyways. So, but I, I wanted to, I just felt like vlogging again, so I'm doing it. Why not? I saw a funny thing. This is the real reason I wanted to vlog. The real reason I wanted to vlog is I had two things I wanted to tell you. And the first is, so I was reading art news. My wife's a, a video artist, as you, as you may know, uh, and so she gets art news, and I love art, but I'm not a fine artist. I'm a I'm a commercial artist. Yeah, I'm a graphic designer. I make books. I illustrate. I draw cartoons, and so I've always had um, a complicated relationship with fine art. I like it, um, but at the same time, sometimes I'm like. I just wish the illustration got a little more respect. Like, this is what I don't like. So we've t t t t t t t torn down all the barriers, supposedly, in, in fine art regarding what is art. I mean, a long time ago, Marcel Duchamp put a urinal in a gallery, right, and said, this is art. And then I feel like in the 90s, artists were always, especially like sculpture artists or installation artists, were always daring you to say that their stuff wasn't art. They just dump a bunch of mop heads in a corner, and they're like, "What's the matter? Don't get it?" You know, it was very. I felt confrontational, um, <clears throat> and they do a lot of like ironically bad art. Like if you make ugly art, because that's what you're trying to do, like Cy Twombly or something. I think that's great. But when you sometimes if you make like ironically bad art or art that's just ugly because it's trying to challenge me, make me think like that's not art. And then you're like, aha, you know, um, <clears throat> I don't like that. And so I feel like the last barrier was torn down then when, during the pop art movement, because like with the Dadaists, we're like, okay, I guess anything can be art. And then at the pop art movement, though, we're like, hey, even graph design can be art. Like objects, like designed objects can be art. So like a can of soup or a frame from a comic book. But here's the thing. 
here's the wall that still stands to a certain degree. And that is that if you take a urinal and you put it in an art gallery, it's art. But you put that urinal on a wall in a bathroom and it's not art. You take a painting of a soup can and you put that on a wall, that's art in a gallery. But a soup can on a shelf in a grocery store is not art. And so like, I get it. But so then you're saying the definition of art is like, it can't be useful. <laughs> if it's actually useful, not art. And when I mean useful, I mean, obviously art is useful for a lot of things. And I think that a painting is kind of more useful than a can of soup. Eh, it's maybe not. But that's my issue with it. We're going to go to the, uh, Jen and I were at the, uh, the MoMA. And we want to get a membership. And if you're an artist, you get a discounted membership. And so they like, you got to prove you're an artist. So you got to send them, you got to bring them some, uh, catalogs of uh, gallery shows that you've been in. And Jen can do that. But I haven't really been in any gallery shows. But I'm an artist. I've like published, I'm like, I have a book in your gift shop. <laughs> Does that count? Uh, it's right there. It's right behind my head. Oh, wait. I gotta move it this way. There it is. Next to the Elvis head. That's my book. That's in their gift shop. And so, but I'm afraid I'm gonna get there and they'll be like, you're not an artist. And then I'll have to give them the speech I just bored you with. Okay, I'm gonna. This is gonna get better. This vlog. So anyway, so I was reading art news, and they got an article in here about uh, about like BMW and different car companies uh, teaming up with uh, various galleries and supporting art. So it's car companies supporting art. Delivering more than fast cars is the title of the uh, article, and the first line of the article is. Not since Chris Burden had his hands nailed to the roof of a Volkswagen Beetle in 1974 have automobiles and art been so close. <laughs> That's a funny... I'm drawing cats. I'm working on my cat book. I'm going to give you a uh, show you what I've been working on. That's what I've been working on. I've been studying various cat breeds and drawing them so that's a Scottish fold that's a Cornish is that a Cornish Rex? That many different colors too that's a Calico that's it. here's a Siamese that's a snowshoe so I've been studying different cat types working on the cat book and sketching cat sketches I just finished reading the book, The Troop. It's really good. Uh, it's about it's a horror novel by Nick Cutter, which is a pseudonym. I don't know what his real name is. A lot of times, like real authors, they don't want to <clears throat> they come up with a horror novel. They do a pseudonym. Oh, we started listening to the Rolling Stones. Who? And um, yeah, I know I'm a little late, a little behind the curve. I also just started watching Lost and Louie. Nobody to discuss them with. So got I got some girls and let it bleed. Oh, I got them from the New York Library. Dude. New York Library is great. It's great. It saved so much money. The troop, I just uh, got it from the library. Didn't have to buy it. It's so great. There's all these books I can read now and I don't have to buy. And I can read them to see whether or not I like them. And if I like them, I can buy them from my collection. I'm going to buy the troop. But it's great. They got all sorts of stuff there, man. We went and saw uh, the Royal Tenenbaums in Central Park. And it was great. We got there. So we were there meeting Jono. Jono? I've known him for how many years? I still forget how to pronounce his name. That's so stupid. No, I'm not. And um, so we went to see him in Central Park to watch uh, Royal Tenenbaums. We get there. And I mean, a sea of people. So many people, you know. And um, it was a little scary. But we waited our way through. We found him. And we sat and watched the film. And it was great. I was worried people were going to be talking or moving around or stuff like that. It was kind of incredible how many people there and how well behaved everyone was. Nobody talked. Nobody got up. Uh, it was 
and, and and when people dispersed, everybody was so nice. Everybody took their trash with them. <laughs> that was amazing. Every time I'm like, screw this city. New York isn't so great. It'll do something where I'm like, okay, people, okay, it's pretty good. And then we were walking through Central Park down the mall. The mall in Central Park, which is just this big lane. This huge, long lane with, uh, studded with lamp posts and we got little sculptures, brass sculptures of poets in there. Robert Burns related to me. Um, I guess I should say I'm related to him. Um, and I was like, man, yeah, okay. There's some nice things. <laughs> some nice things about this city. We're at the 11 minute mark. How was this? How was this podcast? Vlog. Oh, see, I'm already ready to switch. I think I will be switching. And maybe I'll still vlog every now and then. I don't know why I like it. I just feel like podcasts are easier to consume. You can listen to them while you're walking around, while you're working and stuff. To watch a vlog, you really have to like to be dedicated. You're like, this is all you can do. You can't have this on in the background, really. I think that's why podcasts are better. And uh, you're also you're walking around with your with your iPod. It's just easier to listen than to like look at your iPod. You know, that's my opinion. That's my guess. So anyways, it was, it was nice to see you again. I got so much more stuff to, I mean, I got a backlog of stuff to tell you because we were in Cape May, got all that to talk about. My sister got married, beautiful wedding. Uh, her and Eric got married and it was very nice. You got any anecdotes to tell you? I mean, I don't know. Got a backlog. Summer's almost done. And it's uh, really hot here in New York. It's a little heat wave this week. So let's hope I survive. Anyway, too much to talk about. Not, nothing that. I got a can of pens. I got two cans of pens. I've really been expanding my marker collection. And it's kind of pointless because I just use them for sketching. I've been having difficulty figuring out what material to use for the some very interesting cats, perhaps you weren't aware of, though. I just don't know what, 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 what material to. I like drawing in markers, but they don't look good. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just sketching in marker, and then I, I finish it digitally. Whatever. This is, boy, this is a bad vlog. Okay. That was a great vlog. Great talking to you. And uh, I'll see you later. Clicking off. Oh, I should end with, I hate when people just end with, like, see you later. I should end with a, 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 an inspirational quote or something. Hold on, hold on. Hold, oh, it's a sketchbook. Hold on. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hold on. Jesse, don't you go dying on me. Okay. Hold on. I'll find a quote. We'll end with an inspirational quote. Nah, this one's okay. In between goals is the thing called life that has to be lived and enjoyed. Sid Caesar. Can't end with that. Joke. Joke. That's a, it's not a joke. Oh, <laughs> come on. Oh, boy. This is worse than I should have just ended it. Oh, boy. Nothing. No quotes. Well, I'm looking through my little notebook. My joke book. Should I write jokes in, but also if I see a quote I like or some sort of phrase I like. Like here, unauth unauthorized people allowed. It's a phrase I saw I liked, so I wrote it down. It's my notebook. Well, mm. cannot find any quotes. <laughs> this is, I mean, I gave you one quote, but that's just, I can't. Is anyone still watching? Who, who would still be watching at this point? It's just me flipping through it. Now I have to find a good quote because... Okay. Well, I can't. Oh, oh. Oh, if I can't. <laughs> oh, I just, here's a funny thing that I heard somebody say. Hiring you would be like firing two good people. That's not a good quote. Uh, 
people may not believe what you say. People may doubt what you say, but they'll believe what you do. Richard Nixon. There we go. Boy, was that worth it? <laughs> All right. See you.